Hey guys, my name is Rob Noir, and welcome to Super Mario 64. So we're playing a game from my youth here, which there's a way to like drag his mouth and make his mouth stay dragged. Oh God, if only I could remember how to do that. I know there was a way to do it back in the day. I know I owe you always used to like to make him glitch the hell out like this, but welcome to Super Mario 64, guys. So this is a game from my youth. Both these save files, by the way, are mine. I guarantee you that was me as a kid. And I have just, I've been wanting to replay this game for the longest time. Oh my god. It's been so long that I actually forgot she actually had a voice actor in this one. She was pretty much the only person other than Mario going like, Wahoo! Yay! So yeah, guys, we're going on a bit of an adventure right now with one of the seminal games from my childhood. And so recently I started re-watching a playthrough of this game by my favorite YouTube channel, The Game Grumps. And in it, Aaron, who was the guy who was playing, he really is horrible at this game. And I remember being amazing at this game. So it really made me want to play it again and see if it was just my imagination, if maybe it doesn't really play as well as it used to, or I don't know exactly what's going on, like if it were, he was really that bad. Like it just, it made me want to play this. Yeah, yeah, I, I get it. Basically what this guy is doing is he's explaining how the camera works. Because this game is so old, there had never really been a 3D game where you could control the camera. So they gave the camera a personality, which is the little Lakitu in the bottom corner. But holy crap, guys, other than for like, maybe five minutes of video footage in some random videos, I have not played this game in 10 years. And I 100%ed this game, oh god, more than 10 times as a kid. Right now I'm just trying to get a little bit of a feel for it. I am going to be doing this playthrough with the Brawler 64. That's this controller right here. I'm gonna be using this Kickstarter controller. And I have tried this controller out. I even did a video review on it where I said overall this thing was extremely solid, but I haven't done like a full playthrough of a game that I'm super familiar with, with this controller. So this is really gonna make or break this controller for me, is this right here. Welcome, no one's home now, scram, but don't come back. Whoa! -ho -ho. So, oh, hey, Toad. Hello! I can't do the Toad voice. Am I glad to see you, the princess and I, Will, everyone, we're trapped inside the castle. I'm just gonna talk a bunch because this is the tutorial. So, I used to fucking tear ass at this game. I was incredible at this game. This game and Banjo-Kazooie, I used to 100% complete multiple times. I probably 100 percent this game, and that's getting all 120 stars doing everything there is to do more than 10 times as a kid. Now, it has been a while. Oh, Jesus. And these games, they just, they do not control as well as you probably remember. And as well, I'm playing it with a little bit of a weird controller. It's gonna take me a while to get my bearings. But I just wanted to play this game because I'd been watching a playthrough of it and it was really giving me the itch to play it. Come on, Trigger, do, let me do the, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm feeling a little bit of feedback delay in the triggers. I don't know if that's me or if that's the controller or what. Um, but yeah, I just, I wanted to play a game that I could really tear ass through. And it's probably gonna take me like an episode or two to really get my bearings and get to be as good or at least close to as good as I was as a kid. But I really wanted to do this game, guys. Like, I just I just wanted to play it. So we're just going to give this a go. I haven't even decided on the format yet. Usually I decide, hey, am I going to be doing an hour? Do I record for an hour? Do I do 10 hours to make a video? Like, ah, uh, I haven't even quite decided that. Come on, grab him. Toss him. Toss the dwarf. So I'm not really sure what we're, what we're doing, where this is going, what I'm going to do. If I do recall, there were 15 levels in the game, right? So I think I could probably clear like five levels an episode and be happy. Come on, bomb, dude, like, fuck off. 
Is there some trick to this, or am I just fucking it up? I think I was just fucking it up. All right, boom. So I don't even know how much footage I'm gonna show. Obviously, I'm gonna show getting the first star, but... Oh, oh, he figured out my tricks. And kaboom. That's three. So like I said, it's gonna take me a while to get my bearings. I'm not really sure how long I'm gonna be making these episodes. I'm not really sure how good I'm gonna be at this in the beginning. But I'm sure by the end I'll be at least decent. I don't know if I'll ever be as good as I was as a kid. This is a game, this was like one of, yeah, I know, I know how stars work, Peach. Or not Peach, probably, come on, Trigger? Yes, thank you. Um, this is one of the seminal games of my childhood. Like, this is, this game is my childhood. And this guy's gonna be, hello, I'll prepare my anus for you. The cannon, the cannon, the cannon, not the anus, the cannon. Are you, yeah, exactly. Every time, for some reason, I remember there was some meme or something going around where it was, I shall prepare my anus. <laughs> this is a weird tangent to go off in a Mar Mario episode. But, and then every time I see these bomb bombs, they always say, Hey, I'll prepare the cannon for you. And they say it in the exact same way as was in the meme that I saw. So every time it triggers that, it's, it's, it, that's my issue. That's my issue, guys. Okay, so now I gotta race this turtle, which is not that hard, all things considered. Yeah! That was always my signature move, was bouncing off the Goomba. The Goomba and not getting hit by that doofy motherfucker. I'm... I've already failed. I'm trying to swear less in my videos because it has come to my attention that I cover a lot of Nintendo games and a lot of kids like Nintendo. So a lot of kids are fighting my videos. And that's... I mean, that's cool. Like, I, I'm happy that anybody's finding my videos. I definitely s probably s God, Mario, get some momentum. I definitely probably swear a little bit too much for kids. There was a shortcut warp right there, but fuck it. I swore again. I should almost have, like, a swear jar. But it's just, it's come to my attention that a lot of kids watch my videos, and some of them do actually complain about my swearing. So I'm trying to swear less, at least in my Nintendo playthroughs, and it's not going particularly well. So I just crushed this. This is the first race out of like three that you got to do against this turtle. Yeah guys, I am super happy to be back to this game. I have wanted to play this for so long on the channel, now I'm finally doing it. Hey, sup? It's Mario, I beat your ass. Ass is okay. Ass is okay. Can't take ass from me, I gotta be able to say ass. And actually, it's a little bit interesting because I did kind of do an episode on this game way, way back in the day when I covered the Illegal Fan HD remake of this game. I did like one episode on it. Where is it? It's like right there, maybe? I think I overshot it, actually. Did I? Nope, I still got it. I covered the like HD fan remake of this game. So it's true, I have played it a little bit. And you know, I gotta say, man, the Ultra HDMI mod on the N64, which is what I'm playing this through, especially when you turn on those damn scan lines, it makes these games look... Yeah, I know, I know how stars work. It makes these games look good. It makes these games look really good, man. Okay, so eight red coins. So this is... I'm also gonna double this up with the 100 coin mission. Um, well, actually, it's possible. Maybe you don't know this game. Maybe you never played it. Maybe uh, and this is a gap in your video game history. I don't know. Apparently, a lot of people actually haven't played this game. Like, not as many people had the N64 as it seems to be made out. Like, a lot of people seem to have skipped it. So, while this is kind of like the most iconic game, I can kind of explain a little bit about it, I guess. I mean, you're Mario, like, pretty much every Mario game, you're trying to save the princess, um, you're collecting stars. In this game, it's stars. It's not moons, like in Mario Odyssey. It is legit stars, and you're just trying to collect as many as you can. There's 120 in total spread across 15 worlds and then a bunch of, like, bonus things. And it's just there's a bunch of little missions in every level, one of which is get eight red coins, which is the mission I'm technically on now. But you can pretty much do any mission you want right from the get-go. 
and there's one special, I guess, kind of secret mission in each world in that you don't technically learn about it until much later in the game when you open the third key door. But if you know about it, you can do the mission at any time. And that is if you get 100 coins in any world, you get a special star. And this is the actually the only star that you can get that will not pop you out of the game when you get it. So, I just realized how long it's going to take me to get 100 coins, so I'm going to shut up now, and a lot of this is going to happen in a very smooth transition. Okay guys, so as you can see, I'm pretty close to those 100 coins that I need. One of the things to keep in mind if you try and do the 100 coin mission really early, like I just did fuck off with these water balloons, asshole. Um, one of the, <laughs> and there goes with the swearing again. I don't know, man, these games, they just put me in that mindset. One of the things to keep in mind is that you were intended to do the 100 coin mission much later on in the game. Like, I just got it right here. But you were supposed to do it much later on in the game when you actually had the wing cap. Yeah, you can save. And when you have the wing cap, you're able to fly in the sky oh so high and do all this stuff there that, um, like there's a bunch of coins and you gotta go through all these hoops to get a star. And you can get some of those coins without the wing cap, but the problem is you do not want those coins to be the last coins that you get because then your star is going to appear in the middle of the sky and you're gonna have no real way to get to it other than with the cannon which will take you a very very long time believe me I know so this is actually the trickiest red coin to get oh you 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 no, you don't. No, you don't. Come on, can I? Can I? Isn't there a way to... Yeah, come on. There we go. That's the trickiest one to get, just because you can't see because of the, the blocky camera angle. But, ah, uh, not, not in the ball pit. Get me out of the ball pit. Okay. So, there. We knocked out the red coins and the 100 coin star, which is a pretty good pretty good thing to be doing. I feel like I am kind of tearing through this game. And that makes me happy. It means I still have a little bit of it. The controller actually feels really good. Like I'm having a good time with it. I, I will say though, I feel like the trigger is maybe not as responsive. Like the Z trigger is now mapped to below the bumpers. Mar Mario Wings to the Sky, I can't get that one. The Z trigger is now actually mapped to the bumpers like it's a normal controller. And um, the problem with that is um, it's a little bit weird when you're used to the Z-trigger on the bottom of the controller, so... Oh god, he's gonna get me. Yeah. I think he only takes off three, though, so I think I'm fine. Yeah, this will get me this star. Is this the last star I can get in this level until I get the wing cap? I don't... Mm, I don't remember all the stars off the top of my head. It's been too long, man. It's been way too long. I think that's the last star that I can actually get in this level. I'm gonna go back and check, but I think that's the last one. Yeah, guys, so the, the next star is only really doable when you have the wing cap, which I don't get yet. This was not the next world, was it? Um, no, that this was not the next world, but I guess this is the next one that we're doing, just cause it was right there. I don't know, man. We're, we're gonna be doing every single one, I guarantee you that much, so, I mean, it doesn't really matter the order. This is actually a little bit of a frustrating level because you really slip around a lot. Although, I don't think it was that hard from what I remember. I remember that these parts were crazy fun. Yeah, man. And then, right up here is the secret secrets. I missed the one-up, but... It appears the secret secrets. Although, I do believe there's a race you have to do here later on in the game. And I think if you actually use that secret in the race, the guy says you cheated. So that's something to keep in mind. By the way, I'm at 10 lives already. Like, I think my face cam is probably covering the lives. But I'm already at 10, so that's... That's a pretty good sign of just how, how well I'm moving through this. I'm sure there's going to be a point where I'm going to have to get good a little bit, but uh, yeah, it's pretty much all coming back to me. Like, this is feeling very intuitive, and I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, so the next mission was to actually find a lost penguin, 
but I felt like doing this one instead. There we go, the special, special dive move where Mario's kind of, oh my god, that was not where I meant to go. Son of a bitch, I think I've just, okay. Well, guys, I'm just gonna ride this out if I can. Oh, he's gonna pass me for sure. I have no, I have no control. Maybe I can cut him off like I just did. Oh yeah! You guys see that shit? Unless he accuses me of cheating. He might, because that was kind of a cheat. Where you going, bro? Where you going? Where you going, bro? Yeah, I broke your record. <laughs> I totally thought I had fucked that one up completely when I fell off. That was not what I intended to do, but you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, so there's an old woman penguin who has lost... Maybe she's not old, I don't know. There's this mama penguin who's lost her baby penguin. Who is this guy up here who's very far from the mama penguin. I remember there are some... Ah, oh, goddamn. I remember there's some kind of sh shortcuts you can take. Hmm. It's been so long, man. Yeah, I think this kind of works as a little bit of a shortcut if I don't die. Which I did not. I am very proud of myself. <laughs> yeah, I just gotta I just gotta get this fucking baby to the mom. Which is not that hard, all things considered. I think she's she's just like right down here. You just move really slow with this asshole penguin. The mother is like right down there. So if I just grab him. That's your penguin, right? That's your baby. Yep. That's all it takes. I, I do still... I do still remember a lot of the tricks for this game, I gotta say. Like, it does... it's still in there. When you 100% when you a game that many times, you... even 10 years... and it literally has been 10 years at least since I've, like, seriously played this game. Still, a lot of it's still in there. Eight red coins, that means I should probably go for the 100 coins here as well. Oh! God damn it. I almost had that. As you guys can see, I'm at 94 coins. And the way I achieved that was pretty much just by going through the race twice. Come on. Fucking! God damn. There's a way to nail that jump. I know. I've nailed it a million times. Come on, Mario. Work with me, work with me buddy. I know I changed how I used to say your name because the internet bugged me about it. But we can... Yes. Okay, so I'm about to get the... I'm about to get the, the 100 coin star right here. That really did not take very long. And then I gotta knock out the red coins. I gotta be honest, I don't really remember 100% where all the red coins are in this level. I mean, I know I can figure it out. I don't remember off the top of my head. It's been... It's been a really long time, man. It's been a really long time. Actually, scratch that last, guys. I'm pretty sure I know where all eight red coins are. Okay, yeah, that did not take as much trial and error as I thought it would. The last red coin is right here. Yep. And then it spawns up there, which is the place I already crazy jumped to, which means, logically speaking, I should be able to do it again, right? Oh god, I almost just killed myself right over there. Hey, friendly snowman, Frosty the snowman. Okay. I don't know if those snowmen actually have a name. If you're watching this, comment down below. What is the official Mario name for these snowmen who are like kind of assholes? Come on, dude. Mario, come on. We, 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 we're running a show here, man. Work with me. We gotta do things. <laughs> this game. Mario controls... Definitely not the best in this game. So there's definitely a few moments where even if you're pretty good at it, where you're like, Oh, no, no, don't do that, don't do that. So I gotta, I gotta be a little bit careful here. Okay, so this one is Snowman's Lost His Head. Which is actually not the f easiest mission to do. I remember having problems with it. 
basically the snowball is going to come down and you have to get it to like angle towards this guy and I think I can trick it and cheat it like I just did hey 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 snowball snowball this way but I didn't damn it all right I, I gotta try that again there is a way to do it without having to go all the way down though I, I know that much okay guys maybe come on do I have to stand right behind the snowman head was that what it was oh and I can actually do the wing cap one too if I want to but I'll, I'll get this world done first but come on man it's been so long I don't remember all the pro strats I don't remember all the little nifty tricks it's it's been a decade man I'm old I don't have this the mad skills for the video gamers anymore come on come on big money big money no whammies no whammies come on oh well I did it I did it by just standing in front of it that's good enough I guess yeah just give me the fucking star <laughs> You know what, I remember that one always being a little bit finicky, even as a kid, but there we go, I got it. Oh man! Oh, oh god, don't fuck it up. Whew. <laughs> I didn't think I could make that, but I didn't want to go down. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Oh, whoa, I didn't even know there was a win there. I mean, I must have known that when I was a kid, but... Alright. Will this be my first death? It might be. Cause I know you gotta, you gotta like, you wanna hit that tree. Was it like, this? Oh man. Yeah. That's it man, some of the shit comes back to you hard. Like I, I remember how to do this one, even though I know a lot of people had trouble with it. It's another one where it's a good way to check if everything works on this third-party controller. Oh, oh, that could have been my fault. And, oh god, there we go. Now this one, what was it, you're supposed to do like the baby Mario crawl across this? This could take forever, but this is this is the bitch way of doing it if you don't want to risk falling off. Which, I mean, I got a show to do. I still got another many, many moons to get. So I'd rather not fall off. BAM! Alright guys, so now I think it's about time we get the wing cap so I can actually complete World 1. Which, there is a trick to doing this one. Oh god, but... Damn, if I know it, that was not it, though. Okay. But you know what, if I... I remember it's... You have to nail these top red coins in your first pass, otherwise you're boned. But the lower ones you can actually still get. I feel like I missed two of the top ones, though. Did I miss two tops? I missed two tops. Alright, well, I'm just gonna activate the switch, and then I gotta redo this one. Yeah, yeah, come on. Oh, shit! I'm only missing one. And I gotta get to the star in the middle. Oh, come on! My wing cap's about to die, though. Come on, Mario, circle around, circle around. Oh, I got this. I got this in the bag, baby. Yeah! And now I can wing cap so I can go back to World 1, get the... I almost said moon. Fuck you, Super Mario Odyssey. Get the star that I missed there. And then I think... Well, actually, there's one more bonus level in this area, which I'll do, and then I think I'll clear through one more actual level in this episode, and that's probably where we'll call it. Three episodes... Uh, three levels an episode. There's what? There's like 15 regular episodes. So I'd put it at like maybe six episodes to finish the entire game. I feel like that's actually... It's actually solid. Like that's what I would want. I can carry this. I can carry this series for six episodes. That's doable. I know I'm fucking up pretty bad right now, but I can manage this for six. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to do three worlds per level and maybe a little bit of bonus stuff. And then we'll kind of see where we end up at the end of episode five. I'm also not sure 
the order that I'm going to air this, by the way, because I have not completed a hat in time as of filming this. So I might want to put this up right away. I might want to finish a hat in time. I don't know, man. I don't know. I like that game a lot, too, but I don't want to have two super long 3D platformers going at the same time, you know? And there we go. I just unlocked the star for this one with my crazy hat flying skills. Almost perfectly landed that one. Goomba went through me. That's kind of how I roll. So, all right. So we're going to go and clear out a third world. Actually, no, we're going to go and clear out the super fun bonus world, I guess. Which means I'll have more than 20 stars per episode, which is actually a pretty good net gain. Yeah, I think, I think that'll work. I think that's how we're going to approach the series. Because, I mean, trying to do like five worlds per episode is just going to kill me. And I'm going to run out of like stuff to say and stuff to do and energy by the end of it. I feel like three worlds and a few little bonus things like this is totally doable. This is one of the more fun bonus stages, by the way. And one of the things that I always used to try and do in this world is get a hundred coins because you can actually get very close to a hundred. I think you can get to like 70 coins or 60 coins if you nail every coin. But there's no way to get to a hundred, unfortunately. I used to always do it because I was like, what if there's a second secret star? There's not. They, they didn't program in enough coins on purpose. That's actually a really fun one. I kind of wish it was a little bit longer. There's um, an even cooler slide like that in the world with the big mushrooms. I probably wouldn't get to that for a few more episodes, but when I do, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So let's go take out Thwomp's Fortress, or Womp's Fortress, whatever it's called. And that's probably, after clearing that, where we'll call it an episode. And here we go, we've aggroed the giant boss at the very top, who is a Thwomp. And you gotta go and hit him in his open wound. Which I remember even as a kid, I was like, ooh, that's, that's kind of harsh. But that's just kind of how Mario rolls, I guess. He's a sadistic son of a bitch. And... Ba-boom. Dead. <laughs> I feel like this game was actually harder when I was a kid. Is it just me? I don't know, maybe it's just because, like I mentioned at the beginning of this episode, I was watching a playthrough where the guy was really, really struggling. So maybe it's just that? I feel like this game is feeling kind of fucking easy right now, and that's kind of weirding me out a little bit. I don't know. I don't know if it's just me. I don't know if it's just you. I don't know what's going on, bro. There's an owl down there. Oh no, the owl doesn't spawn yet. Okay, there's no owl. Forget I said that. There's no owl. Don't get your hopes up. Don't get excited. Don't get too excited. Okay, and so this star is basically just get to the top of the mountain. That's, that's all you gotta do is just get to the top. Not even of the mountain, get to the top of the tower. Not very hard, all things considered. That was kind of it. That was kind of all I had to do was just climb to the top. I mean, it is wor I guess this is supposed to be World 2, Snow was supposed to be World 3, but... Fuck, man, I really tore ass through those two worlds, like... 10, 15 minutes max, and I completed all the stars in each world. What was it? It was sh shoot off into the wild blue? Um, hmm, I'm not sure, well, actually, I think I know which one it is. It's one of two, both of which are right over here and you need the cannon for, so. Hello, I'll prepare my anus for you. So this was always another one that was a little bit difficult to aim out, but of course, I nailed it. You know what, man, I gotta play more games on camera that I'm just fucking good at. Because this is fun, actually playing a game and being at least competent at it and getting through it quickly. I play too many games that I have no experience with and it just ends poorly. I gotta play more games like Mario 64 where I can just fucking destroy. That's, that's what I gotta start doing, man. Okay guys, I'm about to get the 100 coin star. Haven't even crossed the bridge to get up to the top of the mountain yet. Um, yeah, I have a feeling that I'm gonna remember how to play this game pretty well. 
Oh god, that was that was pretty tight though, I gotta say. Um, I'm missing like two red coins, which I think are both at the top here. I mean, I could be wrong, but I get a feeling that they're both up here. And to get to them, I gotta break the plank. Which, okay, that was actually easier than I remember. Oh yeah, they're both up here. Uh, oh god, camera, camera. Work with me, please, camera, and I will be your best friend. Betray me, and I will murder your family, Lakitu. I have that ability, although I don't really remember you in this game much. Okay, and there we go. Well, that was a little bit unorthodox to get to it, but in the end, I didn't dive off a cliff like I thought I was there. My heart stopped for a moment, so all's, all's well that ends well. Man, I'm getting a lot of extra lives from doing this. I'm at 21. I think if you save and exit out, though, that doesn't carry over. I could be wrong. Now I gotta, I gotta aggro the owl here, who's gonna be like, "Ooh, hey, give a hoot, don't pollute." And um, where are you? Where are you, buddy? Where are you? And now it's. I think you can do this with the cannon too, but I think the way you're supposed to do it is with the owl. Oh man. That was, that was close. God damn it. Come back here, fucking hootie face. Let's do this. There we go. That one was a little bit rougher around the edges, but... So I think there's one star left to get in this level. If I'm not mistaken, or are we, are we all done? Um, yeah, there's one left. What is it, though? I don't remember. Blast away the wall! Oh, I do remember! That was when it was shooting to the wild blue. There was two options there, and I didn't remember which one it was. This is the other one. Um, this one's actually really easy. Um, just get the cannon over here and just find a wall and go ba-boom. Theoretically, only these two walls matter, but I think it's actually this wall. Yeah, it's that wall. Okay, and then you just go and you get the star. Really not much to this one. And there we go. You can actually shoot that with the cannon, but I didn't feel like missing and then having to run all the way back. So yeah, that's... That's the first three worlds of Mario. Completely cleared through. Plus the two bonus stages that are available here. I kind of really kicked some pretty good ass in this level. Uh, in this episode. In the next episode, I will clear through Dire Dire Docks, which is the first, like, actually challenging level, I think. And then, whoa, whoa, did you guys see that? I got the door to, like, blink in and out of existence. Yeah. If you can see it at the very edge of the frame there, it blinks in and out. I never noticed that before. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna clear through Dire Dire Docks, and I'm gonna beat Bowser, and I guess take on the Haunted level? And maybe that's where I'll end it? I don't know. I can actually... Oh, you know what? There's one bonus star in here. No, you know what? I'll, I'll get the bonus star in the next episode, although I can go in the door and show you guys what's in here in case you didn't know. This is also the level that has, like, out of this entire game, I would say the most iconic, recognizable, and also, like... Not necessarily nostalgic, but it's the music track that everybody always thinks of when they go to this game. I mean, there's Peach's Castle, which you're listening to right now, which is, you know, whatever, it's Peach's Castle, but the song from Dire Dire Docks, that's the one that people think of when they think of Mario 64. So yeah, guys, that was my first episode of Mario 64. It is a joy to be back to this game. I can't wait to tear my way through it. So far, it's going good. I'm feeling good. I'm having a lot of fun. I'm definitely looking forward to doing another episode. So yeah, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Hey guys, my name is Rob Noir, and today I have a video for you all about controllers for the N64. And we're going to be focusing mainly on the brawler know that I am a huge fan of the N64. When I was a kid growing up, we originally had an NES. We had that for a while until I was...